here, back to do another video review. Going to be reviewing a figure I never thought they'd remake, in, at least like this. So, hell has not yet just oh, frozen over. It has become my new venue for Smurfs on Ice. We've got Generation 1 Hardhead in his original H10 configuration. Holy crap, this is awesome. Uh, I'd say the only difference between him and his G1 mold, besides obviously updated parts, is that he only comes with one handgun rather than two. Oh well. Just the camera here. Um, so he, his hard head, he comes with his Titanmaster Furious. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, we have the uh, collectible card here, and as I've stated in some of my previous reviews, I'm really loving these collectible cards because they actually put the stats on the back. Uh, so, this is pretty awesome. So, but yes. And something I'd like to note about the Titan Master, when he's sitting in his uh, cockpit, he actually looks like he has controls to grab onto when he's sitting in there. I know those little things next to his hands and legs are really just uh, struts to hold him in place when he's in here, but they really honestly look like controls for him to grab onto, and I really like that detail. Pull him out of here real quick. Show we it. Camera's over here, Edward. Show him off a little bit. Eh, very sparsely painted, unlike the last couple of headmasters, deluxe headmasters I've reviewed. Very sparsely painted, but again, he has a dollop of paint on his eyes and face. I'm trying to make sure if he had a visor or not. But yeah, he has individually painted eyes and a face. So yeah. Um, like a lot of the other Titan Masters. The cannon for uh, Hardhead can be detached and turned into a gun emplacement for Furos to sit in. You can put another gun on top of here if you wanted to, but since he's already sitting in a cannon, it kind of seems pointless. Uh, these, these little molds, by the way, are meant to be for uh, figures like Blaster, Power Master Prime, and um, <sighs> Fortress Maximus in their uh, city modes so they can have extra gun emplacements for the Titan Masters to use. So I find that kind of cool. That's nice. You can uh, leave him on there like that, piloting the tank from the, uh, the cannon. Okay. Something else I'd like to note is he has a pair of those little pegs. Not this way in the back of that piece there, but I haven't been able to get a Titan Master to fit on those. I'm starting to think a few of these, the pegs on these guys might be a few millimeters bigger than they should be, and some of the Titan Masters can't fit on them. But, all right. Um, I know I've never talked about Hardhead before in his history in Transformers, so in Generation 1, he, uh, um was one of the four Autobot Headmasters who just kind of randomly showed up during the Rebirth. The Rebirth being the last three episodes of Transformers before it was unceremoniously cancelled. Uh, this was setting up the plot for Season 4 where you'd have all these new Headmasters and eventually the introduction of Power Masters, such as Power Masters Optimus Prime. Uh, unfortunately, it was cancelled before they could do anything and the comic books kind of picked it up after that. Uh, Hardhead is, well, he lives up to his name. He is rather hard-headed. So much so that I believe once in the comic books, a Transformer shot him point-blank range in the head. This was before he was a, a headmaster. He tanked the shot, turned around and said, I'm called Hardhead for a reason, took out his gun and fired at the exact person who fired him, f fired the guy, shot the guy in the head in the exact place he was shot at. Needless to say, his head did not. His head yielded where hard heads didn't. Uh, but yeah, this is a really awesome guy, Transformer. I've I always is one of the few times where I think an H tank kind of works because it's necessary for his transformation and it actually looks kind of cool. So this is him in his robot mode. This is pretty awesome. Um. Uh, and so far as we can tell, we are getting the original four. Uh, the next wave is supposed to, I think, have both Highbrow and Chrome Dome. And oddly enough, the outside of the three-pack that's going to be released for San Diego Comic-Con, 
Uh, Brainstorm is going to be a Walgreens exclusive. Very strange. Uh, it makes me wonder if any other uh, original figures are going to be exclusive to any other stores like Target or Walmart or uh, stuff like that. But yes, this is his art robot mode. I rather like it. I think the only thing I really wish is that I kind of like the old toy. His, his legs change position. Because seeing the caster wheels down there on his treads are a little... If they weren't translucent plastic, it probably wouldn't bug me as much. I don't understand why his wheels have to be translucent plastic. But yeah. Uh, now, he can't have his gun on his shoulder. Now, I, I don't think anyone's mentioned this, but when you bring his gun over his shoulder, the the uh, what holds the gun is on that bar, and this bar can adjust left and right. Allowing, because if you didn't have that... He'd be trying to bring his gun over his shoulder and his head would get in the way constantly. When you slide it over that bar, it allows the gun to comfortably rest over his shoulder. Now, the only downside to that is you have to bring his actual physical shoulder down some because the bar that uh, that uh, ball joints into can get in the way of the cannon as well. But, oh well. Sorry about that little cut, guys. Uh, my father came pretty much barging through here, so I had to edit some stuff out. Back to what we were talking about. So yeah, the cannon goes over the shoulder. This looks really cool. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to get this figure was um, I skipped on getting the universe figure that was just a repaint of uh, Onslaught from uh, Universe 2.0, that Ultra Class one. And I kicked myself for it because not only, uh, I think, the t about the time I decided not to get that figure... A uh, third-party company announced they were making an upgrade kit for him that would give him his proper headmaster and some better guns. But yes, I do really, really, really love this weapon. Or this, uh, sorry, this. Well, he is a walking weapon. <laughs> Hardhead here. Um, he's really awesome. I hope we get to see him repainted in an into another character, because... There's some potential here for some more awesome characters. I dare say there could be potential here for a um, an impactor. From the way he's built, for the way his his hands fold away, his his shoulder mounted cannon, we could see a Titans Return impactor made out of this mold. So that should be interesting. But yes, till next time. This is Titans Ed saying I'll see you when I see you.